recruiters start coming for football. And Willie Shaw comes, comes to my home. And he's a product of Lincoln High School, which is in San Diego. He went to school with my mom. And so right away, I was drawn to ASU. I fell in love with the campus, the guys I was with. They were great. We were like, we're going to come here. Everybody's going to sign. We're going to make it done. And batted away at the last second by Eric Allen. And uh, it turned out awesome for me. Back here on the Saturday Day Special, Mike Yam and Rick Neuheisel with you. EA, one of the all-time good guys. And here's a look at some of the notable recruits over the last few seasons for the Sun Devils. Hunt is perfect, stands out on this list. Former five-star recruit, Cincinnati Bengal, played with reckless abandon. And most recently, Taylor Kelly provided Todd Graham plenty of leadership. The reign's now going to Mike Bercovici. And Coach Graham joins us here on the Pac-12 Networks. Coach, appreciate you stopping by with us. Our Ashley Adamson, I know, has is, is been spending some time with you down in Tempe in the Boom Room, which is your, your war room. Love to know how many times she's been able to say boom room without having to smile. But she, she's doing all this investigative reporting. She told me late last night you, you woke up, it was late, and you woke your wife up because you got a phone call. What, what happened at home? Well, I, you know, we were, we were battling for, a, you know, our top defensive uh, uh, re recruit up front in our forcing unit and a uh, uh, guy that's, you know, going to be really, really impactful to what we're doing. And um, uh, I told him, I said, hey, if you, if you need to call me back, call me back. And so I wouldn't, I wouldn't asleep, but I was laying there and he called and said, hey, coach, I want to be a Sun Devil. So I've got kind of a loud voice and I screamed and <laughs> hollered at the top of my lungs and uh, jumped out of the bed. My wife about flipped out of the bed. And, uh, and then uh, I did my high knees and my happy dance. So uh, it, it was, uh, uh, she was pretty fired up though when she knew what, when she kind of figured out what was going on. I would ask you to do your happy dance, but you and I are sworn to secrecy that we're going to keep that <laughs> completely between ourselves. Now, it's now not listen. something you want to see. <laughs> now, you've kind of a change of course with respect to strategy recruiting wise. You have been clearly the leader in the conference with junior college recruits coming into this season and yet more than ever before since you came to the Pac-12 much more in the high school battlegrounds talk about uh, the, the strategy involved there and the success that you enjoy well you know obviously we're looking for the best the brightest with the best character that fit our program we lo I love the junior college player uh, especially one that fits what we're all about uh, I think they're they got a sense of urgency about them I think they uh, you know, we've had a lot of success without the elite junior college player, uh, you, you, you'd look at our success and it would be a challenge to be able to replicate it. But I think it's just because this year was a little bit more a year where a little bit more, it was a down year and finding the guys that fit us in the junior college ranks. And then, you know, in the high school ranks, we were just able to be a lot more competitive and getting in there and, and getting guys. And you're always better off, uh, you know, with a guy that's going to be there for four or five years than one that's only going to be there two or three. Uh, but either way, we're looking for the ones that are the perfect fit. And uh, I feel great about the guys that, that, that we're, we're signing up and they, they really fit us and, and they uh, uh, are, are going to be great for the Sun Devil Brotherhood. You as a defensive coach know the importance of having a great quarterback. Uh, you got a young guy to come over there. He's already enrolled in Brady White from Hart High School down in Valencia, California. Talk to me about Brady's uh, early progress there as a Sun Devil and what you envision for him in the future. Well, I mean, he is, uh, you know, obviously a very, very highly ranked quarterback uh, uh, guy, though, that fits us in the in the mold of, you know, what we see as a great quarterback, a guy that possesses great leadership skills, a guy that can lead his team. Uh, and it's not just all about the physical attributes, but then when you can get a guy that has the kind of leadership skills that Brady has, and, and, and again, we just had a guy named Taylor Kelly. He reminds me a lot. Uh, he's in the same mold as Mike Bercovici. And, and so we, we think we've got a great leader and a guy that's going to be a tremendous player in the future, uh, as well as a guy that can flat spin the football. We're, we're a team that uh, we do run a little bit of read zone, but we're not a, uh, a team that, uh, you know, that, that, you know, uh, majors in that. Uh, and we want to, man, we're, we're a rhythm passing team, run play action pass, and uh, his accuracy and his ability to make all the throws we're excited about. And, and uh, as well as we're excited about Bryce Perkins, we think we've got two uh, you know, great ones coming in, and we've got a, a really quality guy, you know, obviously here with Mike Ber Bercovici and, and with Manny. So that quarterback position, you know, if you don't have a quarterback, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a defensive guy, and I know that. Uh, if you don't have a quarterback, uh, you're in trouble. And, and we've really, that's a, that's a position of strength for us now. The guys we've got, we're very, very excited about. 
Coach, we are looking forward to seeing your team behind the scenes. As we mentioned before, Ashley Adamson is there. That feature is going to be on Football Weekly. A glimpse into to what it's like in the boom room. How, how different could it be from what everyone else is doing in the conference, though? Well, I mean, we like to have fun. I mean, uh, you know, Patrick Suttis, our recruiting coordinator, does a tremendous job. Uh, our staff, the core leadership on our staff has been together for a long time, and uh, we like to have fun with it. And uh, uh, this is a big day. You know, we, we were talking earlier uh, with Ashley about, you know, what is signing day all about? To me, it's about the American dream. I mean, football is such a big part of the, of the American culture. And so, man, we want it. The boom room is all about celebrating and, and getting excited because, man, people's lives are changing. And then celebrating the brotherhood that we're bringing people into this brotherhood that we have here at, at Arizona State and what I'm the most excited about today is the guys that are joining us we're really excited about I'm, I'm more excited about who they're joining uh, we have a great nucleus a great leadership a great football team uh, that coming back that we're excited about and adding a lot of great young men to it so the boom room is all about having fun uh, and getting excited and, and doing it our way the Sun Devil way I'm just curious, was she a fly on the wall or did she participate in the boom room fun? <laughs> She, she did participate. She, right, uh, she I'm was, glad she was, to hear it. I don't want to hear about this fly I'm going to tell you stuff. this. Hey, I, I, I'm going to tell you this. I, I, I vote to give her back here next year instead of either one of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure everyone down there would also agree with that. Lots of hands well. in the air for that. It, was, but, a, it was a consensus, everybody, <laughs> 100%. My, she, Coach, she's ours, so she's gonna, she has to come up here. Well, then I'm going to tell you. She's, the, she's, a lot, she's a lot better dancer than Neuheisel. But I think we're all She hasn't seen the happy life. dance. We, are all in <laughs> we don't need to see the yeah. happy dance. We know yeah. that is true. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Coach, we appreciate you stopping by with us. Congrats again on the recruiting class. Looking forward to seeing that feature and what's happening really behind the scenes in the boom room. All right, thank you. Go Devils.